foolishness. Okay, so let's talk about Monique. We do have the clip of her stand-up. We are going to play that in a sec. <laughs> but look, Monique is on tour currently, you know, with Cat Williams for his Dark Matter tour. She is the opener. So, you know, you're not going to hit her up in here talking about I'm a co-lead, a co-headline. She ain't going to do that shit to Cat that she did to D.L. Hughley. She ain't stupid. I'm doing that again. But anyway, so she was performing as the opening act of Cat Williams, dark, you know, on his Dark Matter tour. And instead of her actually taking the time to tell a damn joke, she did her usual. She got in and started ranting, cussing, acting a damn fool on stage, acting like a bit of Betty over the fact that she still ain't get her little apology from Oprah Winfrey and Tyler Perry. And girl, after this clip, I hope you don't expect to ever get an apology or another job in Hollywood for that matter. Um, I'll give my thoughts on it after we watch the clip as a family. But please hold. Fuck you, Oprah Winfrey. Fuck you, Tyler Perry. Fuck them two motherfuckers. I said it, nigga. Say it with me. Fuck you, Oprah Winfrey. Fuck you, Tyler Perry. You two motherfuckers. Now some niggas got scared. It was like you going too far, bitch. I love that black raggedy bitch. I love that black simple-minded motherfucker. I love Oprah Winfrey's black ass. And we just need to bring her back to black. We need to bring that bitch back to motherfucking black. Are you a Oprah Winfrey fan? Yes. Okay, well, I'm not apologizing. <laughs> For any motherfucking thing I say. What's your name, brother? Bill? What do you say? Melvin, we need you to help us bring that bitch back to black. I need you to bend her the fuck over and fuck her like a Nashville, Tennessee nigga would and bring that bitch back to black. Oh, bitch, be quiet. You gonna get some money out of this shit. And every time you see fucking open, you see fucking gay. Best friends is what they say. Well, I've never seen best friends like that. We ain't seen Stephanie in 30, 30, 30 years. motherfucking years. Huh? Who is loving Oprah Winfrey and Gail King? Each other! But we don't want to say this shit out loud because it's Oprah fucking Winfrey. I'm too motherfucking old to be scared of this bitch. I'm too old to be intimidated by this bitch. I'm too old to hold the motherfucking truth. You know why I fuck with Oprah Winfrey, Melvin? Because that bitch tried to fuck with me privately. Well, I'm a public bitch. You tried to fuck with me behind closed doors. Bitch, open the door. Like, Ding dong, I'm going to let your motherfucking ass in. Now, are you going to fuck her or not? Okay, we can pause it there. First of all, I have yet now and from y'all hearing that clip, at any time that y'all hear a joke and actually laugh, she just went on a whole rant, not only about F Oprah Winfrey and Tyler Perry. It's funny how you try to out Oprah, but you ain't trying to out Tyler. So we know about Miss Palmer. <laughs> Allegedly. But anyway, so Monique out here still going on her little rant. So whatever the case is, you know, Cat Williams, I know people like, but Cat Williams didn't get her off the thing or whatever. It's like, you know what, Cat Williams like all that controversial stuff. He's going to let, you know, at the end of the day, let Monique say what she won't say. She got to lie on that sword. Now, Oprah come after her for defamation. Girl, I hope you got enough money in that account to have to pay her and her attorneys because, you know, Oprah going to come after her ass. Now, at this point, you know what? Now, I will say this. In the past, I have gone hard for Monique, and I was like, you know what, sis? I'm so glad that you have had the ability to come out here and tell your truth, to speak what it is that you need to speak, to call these people out, these powerful figures and stuff, which is what I feel like we're in this era now. And shout out to all of them out there that's the peaceful protesters. You know, fuck the media and, and this narrative. They ain't trying to push with that. But I'm so glad this younger generation of the Gen Zers and all the ones that's out there that's peacefully protested against, you know, this government regime that we have, because y'all being a bunch of damn fat. Y'all think, um, you know, Trump the fascist. I mean, Biden's showing a little fascism now, too, and I voted for him. So, you know, I'm glad that, you know, the, the Davids of the world is going after the Goliath which is the regime and stuff, and calling them out over, you know, this whole power situation. And I was with Monique from all the times when she was like, you know what? They treated me a certain type of way and they did all this other stuff and I refused and then they blackballed me and stuff. So I'm all here for you speaking your truth and getting all that out there. But sis, there has to be a point in your life 
Because, ma'am, you're a little too old for this. Like, you in your 50s. You pushing 60, girl. Um, that you have to, you know, let go and let God, as they say. You need to move on. You need to, like, let it go and keep it pushing. Because while you sitting up here, and this is what I've always learned in life, like, this is why I don't hold grudges about stuff. I used to, back in the day, like, just be mad about some stuff. Just always pissed off. I saw a person, be like, fuck that bitch. You know, this, that, that, that whole animosity. And guess what? That person that you sitting there with all that negative energy towards and you hating and you getting gray hairs and crow's feet and you all stressed out, you need a massage because your back and your shoulders is all tensed up and your fingers is looking all like you got carpal tunnel and shit because you all stressed out. Guess what that person over there is doing? Going about their day, going about their life, not giving a fuck about hurting your feelings or feeling the kind of way. So you actually on this stage, going in little rants, you're cussing, you're doing all this other mess, but Tyler Perry and Oprah still living their best life. They still out here doing whatever it is they doing. Tyler busy on his little set out in Atlanta. Well, it's not little, but you know what I mean. Um, He's out in Atlanta making his stuff, his horrible ass shows and movies or whatever that y'all like. I don't particularly care for it because I feel like he need a whole new writer. He need a director. He need a wigologist. He need a whole bunch of people to be on that set. He be trying to be a jack of all trades, but a master of none of them. But I ain't going to knock the man hustle. Like he make all his mil his billions or whatever, but the content just don't be content. But if y'all like it, I love it. And Oprah out here doing what she doing. But so what her, her girl scissoring? What that got to do with you? Wasn't you bisexual like five minutes ago when you went online and told people that you was that you go both ways? Child quiet as a skip. I think Sydney do too. But if y'all like it, I love it. Like I said. Now, um, that's why I said at the end of the day with all of this, you know, Mo, you need to stop being so, like now you coming across as being bitter. And everybody's looking at you like, girl, the, you ain't got nothing else better to do than just be all still on this. Because when a friend of mine sent this to me yesterday, I'm like, oh Lord, here we go again. Why this lady still out here just ranting about Tyler Perry and all this other stuff? Like, okay, we got it from Club Shay Shay. We got it from every interview that you've done over the years when you went on The Breakfast Club and you went on this show and you went on that show. It's always the same song and dance. At what point are you going to move on and come up with some new damn material? Like, she's going to be 10 years from now Still bitching and moaning about Tyler Perry and Oprah. But you're going to be ranting and raving for the rest of your life because, like I said, Oprah and, and Tyler Perry don't give two shits and a flying fuck about a goddamn Monique. They're going to still be out here being their rich selves and their elitist selves and acting like they ain't got a care in the world while Monique out here being better, bitter, bitter, not better, but bitter, scraping by for a little bit of coin to support herself, daddy, and them fucking kids. Meanwhile, you got a whole son that you treat like shit. But you out here being all pissed off about Oprah and, and, and some damn Tyler Perry. Like, like, I said, like I said in the beginning, I was with you when you was airing out your grievances and all the other stuff about how they treated you. But at some point, you got to let that shit go and you got to be able to move on. Now, this is the part where I feel like people should be like, yeah, it's time to move on, sis. Like, you already, you sound like a broken record at this point. You need to move on. You're never going to get that apology. No, you're never going to get it. In the words of In Vogue, you're never going to get it. <laughs> so let's just move on. And you ran and raving about this whole shit, but not telling a damn joke at a comedy, um, you know, that people paid a whole lot of money for, because I'm sure them tickets wasn't cheap. I don't think they did, they want to hear that. There was some jokes, Modi. It's about time you told some. Instead of being the damn joke. 